Welcome to the second part of the series for the creation of FPM application which conducts the core data services view. In this part of the series, you will be creating an FPM application with a search component, a result lit component and two charts using the application creation tool. This is how to proceed. Open your web development environment. Go to the context menu of your package. Choose new other web repository object. Choose Flow Plan Manager application. Click on Next. Choose Wizard for creating FPM apps based on business entities and click on Finish. It opens the application creation tool in the ADT browser itself. Provide WebDimper application name of your choice. I will be providing Open Item Analysis. And you can choose Apply Namespace. Ryan C SAP underscore. Moment you press OK. It prefixes the namespace to WebDimper application as also provides application configuration and flow point configuration names. You can change according to your taste. Provide suitable description. And click on next the second step you have to choose the business entity for our sample application we'll be using the core data services view using f4 you can search for the business entity or the core data services view scpm reduced here we are and then we click on next with the step 3 of join associated entities. At the CDS view in itself provide the associated entities, we do not need to provide that for our sample apps. But if we have chosen a data dictionary table like S flight, then it would have shown the associated entities for the S flight and you could have chosen the fields from the associated entities. As in our case, we do not need to do so. Click on next to define the UI structure. Here, it provides the search component and the result list component. You can change the name according to your taste. We will provide CSAP underscore OIA, OIA stands for Open Item Analysis, Search Configuration, then give default name or description, then provide List configuration result list configuration for Y. Oops. In the same step, you can also add the charts. We will be adding the two charts one for dining level and one for the buyer. Then again, change this default names. So this is for the dining level. And you have to provide a dimension. So again by F4. I can click on search. So it displays all the fields from the CDS view. So for our sample app, we'll be using the dining level description. The measure is provided automatically from the ACT itself, the FPM saddle chart count and you can give a chart title. So you can give us running level itself. Click on add chart again to add for the BIOS. In OIA, let's go BIOS, let's go CFG. Chart config. Here you have to give a dimension as company name. And again for the 
site title you can give as bias so as for the ui structure there is a search command a result component and two charts component click on next provide the request of the task but as we are creating in the package dollar temp no need to request to give the request of the task and then click on save it will give you back two links one for editing the configuration using fluid and the other is for the execution of application if you refresh your package in edit you can see that act has generated all the GIBB configuration, the float plan configuration, the application and the application configuration. You can either use this link to execute the application or you can also go to the context menu of this application configuration. Click use choose run as and then web application. So it will show you the search component, the result list and two charts. When you click on search will give you back the results that's it so you as an FPM developer can now create an FPM application without writing a single line of code this is the end of the second part in the third part we will see how to change the configuration which has been created by ACT using flexible UI designer thank you